COVID crisis may have succeeded where many appeals failed for Kwame Kilpatrick. Tonight, there are increasing indications of an early release from prison for the ex-Detroit mayor. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is digging through the mixed messages and joins us live. So, Brian, what have you found out here tonight? Well, Dave, if you ask two different officials who released Kwame Kilpatrick, you're going to get two different answers. Regardless, all signs point to Kilpatrick being released. And then there's that still unanswered question of, is this permanent? Sentenced to 28 years in prison for public corruption in 2013, Kwame Kilpatrick has resided at Oakdale One, a minimum security prison in Louisiana, where he still is, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website. However, I confirm with the family that uh, former Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick um, has been approved um, to receive home confinement. Kwame is among the 3,000 people that are being released, uh, that are up for early release due to COVID virus, and this is thanks to the president and the initiative that he and the attorney general put through. This tweet by Deputy Assistant to President Trump, Jerron Smith, seems to confirm Rep. Karen Whitsett's statement. And on a federal court aggregate website, the former mayor of Detroit's case file shows released. And there's this press release from a coalition that's pushed for Kilpatrick's release and sent a letter to the White House in February asking for it. Former federal prosecutor Anjali Prasad to Seven's Jim Kurtzner. The only way it happened is if it were a backdoor deal with the President of the United States or the Bureau of Prisons, whose director is appointed by the President of the United States. The Bureau of Prisons, which provided only this statement, has granted early release to prisoners during this pandemic to limit exposure to COVID-19. And multiple prisoners have died from the virus where Kilpatrick has been serving his sentence. It is our hope that when he's released after his 25-day um, quarantine, that on June 10th, tentatively, when he'll be released into uh, the custody of his mother in Atlanta, Georgia. But whether Kilpatrick was granted compassionate release or will have to return to prison when the pandemic ends is still unconfirmed. It's just like, you know, many others, Paul Manafort, uh, Michael Cohen, it's inhumane to leave someone stuck in a cell while people around them have tested positive. And we know that there is absolutely no way that they can follow the CDC guidelines and we do have inquiries into the White House. We are waiting to hear back. Also of note, neither Kilpatrick's personal lawyer or the U.S. Attorney from Michigan's Eastern District have been made aware of any plans for release of Kilpatrick. And Mayor Mike Duggan, he said in a press conference today that if the reports are accurate, that he will do everything he can to give Kilpatrick a fresh start. Reporting live tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brian.